afternoon from downtown Manila, guys. I'm just walking down Makati Avenue. Today's video is going to be quite different than the videos that I usually do, where I would show you, you know, some of the top places to see in a city, how to get around, very tourist friendly. So in today's video, I wanted to do something different where I actually hired a local from Airbnb Experiences, who's apparently a YouTuber as well. I'm excited to ask her about that, um, to show me around an area of Manila that I don't think most tourists should go to by themselves, but is definitely a much more authentic window into how the average person lives here. <laughs> and she is going to be showing us around, uh, what is the name of this district? Uh, we're here in Tuban, we're going to Kondo Manila. Okay, awesome. And where we are right now is kind of like a food market, yeah, it's right? Yeah, called Fiesta Market and Kondo Manila to Tuban. They're in the, uh, the Tuban Mall, it's like yeah. the back of the mall, so we're in the Fiesta Mall, like uh, this is a street food area. Yeah, so we got chicken feet here, and what what were you saying this one was? I think this one is ears. Ears. <laughs> Wow. And this one is chick uh, pork intestine, the big intestine. Uh-huh. Chicken. Wow. And this one is chicken intestine. Of course, the regular chicken and pork barbecue. Nice. And the fish. We call it tilapia. So everything's fresh to order here. That's crazy because today today I actually got some bubble tea and I think I paid 150 for one. <laughs> And look at the price. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a difference in price. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I have like you know some um, cheese sticks, French fries, and everything. Yeah, kind of snack foods. It was busy at night time. Yeah, like, full pack, like local. packed. There's no foreigners around in here. Yeah. So if you're here like uh, tonight, like yeah, you're the only one here. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a local band at night. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I like this, like tables everywhere. So so you just loud. hang out. each other because it's so loud. They have like like a beef stew. And they have like chicken. Like anyhow, anyhow, it's like a barbecue. Yeah. So it's like that. Perfect. <laughs> so Venus, how long have you been uh, giving tours here in Manila? Oh, I started 2019 and then now it's like 2020, right? Yeah, so, like, of course. Maybe like three years, but pandemic came, so I stopped for one year. But it's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. Of course. And then now, like you know, it's back. Like it's it's crazy back. Like a lot of tourists from Australia, like from America, from Canada, and Europe as well. Mm -hmm. I did that before as well. I'm working before. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Let him, let him, let him say it earlier, right? You're crazy. I need to hold you here sure. because I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. The tricycle, okay. Nice. Look at the houses here. Yeah. Like, of course, like we don't have uh, air condition. Yeah. So, like, our baby washing machine is what they don't have. So, they will actually dry their clothes. Look at this. The window. Through there, yeah. yeah over there. So they will ha wash on their hands and then like they hang it outside their houses or like that. Uh, yeah. Be careful. Yeah. What's the hottest that it gets in Manila, like temperature wise? Oh my god, it's so humid here. Yeah. Like we are actually using cell shoes. Uh huh. So like for example, right now it's like 32 cell shoes, you know? It's yeah. So hot. Yeah. But if it's like December, we feel like a little cooler. It's not like winter. Yeah. It's cool. Like maybe cooler. Like, uh, the, the coolest was like 15. So here I'm showing you something. So they dig this uh, this one, the garbage. They actually clean this river. What? Every day they clean this. River. Oh, they clean the every river day. every day. Because 20, 2020, 
they start to clean this area. And then like we, 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 we see these houses. Uh-huh. Of course they actually rent out. Really? Yeah. And like maybe 1,000 pesos per month. 1,000 pesos is like what, 20, 25 US dollars? Maybe 20 dollars. Per month, yeah, these per houses. Month. And then look at this. It's like that they shared the toilet. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, it's a shared toilet. Shared toilet, just yeah. on the outside. It's maybe 500 or 800, it depends. Like what, how big is the room, you know? Yeah. It's so small. Topic. <laughs> You're my guide. <laughs> Here they have like a indoor court, like a basketball court. A what? Like a basketball court. Like ah, nice. To play basketball. Right? Yeah. They have a mini store as well. Oh yeah, a little yeah, business like is all in here. Like biscuits, like games as well. Uh huh. Over here, they're actually selling food. Their country, they feel like okay, Philippines, like maybe just homeless and drugs and the streets, but no, like it's people are trying their best to of work, of course, here, you know? to and make the um, best of their situation. Yeah, 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 even though they're actually poor, they're trying their best to have a living for every day, like of not course. just like maybe okay, maybe like the government is support us because, like, you know, we're like we're poor and we don't have education, but yeah, the people who come here was like outside the street, they have their own, like, you know, small like carts. Yeah. Or small like stores, so like yeah, it's really good cool, thing. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the kids are really sweet here. <laughs> you in the vlog? Yeah, vlogging. Hi. Can say hi. 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 <laughs> So Venus, what would happen if foreigners came here by themselves? Yeah, it would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like right now, like you know, the kids are like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, oh my god. They've never seen a foreigner. Like, have you seen like any foreigners around? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. If they see you like around, they're like, oh my god, like they're just looking. They would have not harm you. Yeah, of they course. They would just look. Of course, like, curious. Oh, I can still see like some like uh, very brave foreigners, like men. Yeah. Around. Of course, they're men. Yeah, yeah. For sure, not okay, women, probably. Yeah. Here, yeah, we have uh, parking slots, uh, mm -hmm. car bikes. After pandemic, it's more popular popularity of bikes, like single bikes, mm -hmm. to go to office because there's no transportation in pandemic. Sure. So it's kind of sad to, you know, some other people that don't have like vehicles, you know, they will like, of course, not everyone can can afford, you know, a car or maybe a motorbike. And mm -hmm. it's pandemic, no more. Yeah. So we're going to the sun. Okay. It's a huge market. I think a picture of you to be here as well. Oh, I think I've heard of this place. This is the Divarsaria Market, yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? I saw pictures of this place, yeah. yeah. Nice. We sell everything for bargain. You can bargain the price in this Yeah. <laughs> because I think for me, it was like it's cheaper here inside the mall. They also have a mall, like, but of course, it's air conditioned. Like, locals love to check it out there. Yeah. But here is like, you know, like everything is here. Like, we can bargain because the competition is crazy, you know? Yeah. So you need to, like, you know, make your price cheap. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I'll take a photo. Sure. Is here, this here. ice cream here? Ice cream. Oh, okay. Ah. But here, you do not sell in Jude, but for me, like, I'm not going to it. Sure. Like, don't know where to get the one. Yeah. I'm not of saying course. it's very, very Yeah. Make your video feel Yeah. Safe, yeah. Well, foreigners are just also not used to, like, some yeah, of the yeah, normal yeah. bacteria. So it's like a local wouldn't get yeah. sick. But, but yeah. Know, you know, you safe, like, yeah. I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the wet market. Mm -hmm. They're selling vegetables, meat inside. Mm. Look at that. 
Ooh, grapes. Look at the grapes. Uh -huh. They look great. Yeah. I love to buy here because yeah. it's so cheap. <laughs> Probably three or four times markup in Makati. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, those kittens are so small. <laughs> Little babies. <laughs> oh, now they're unloading. All. I remember earlier I told you like, they're unloading all the vegetables. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. It's so heavy, you know? That would be a hard job unloading all of that. So, what would you say is actually the average wage in uh, this here, area? Uh, no. It's, it's hard to find a minimum wage in this area. You yeah. need to work for it. For example, those bags of vegetables, it's only like 10 pesos per just to carry that one, just for one bag. Uh huh. But if this was 10 pesos only, right? So you need yeah. to like maybe 20 or more. To get bags. something substantial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not minimum wage in here. Of you course. You need to work for like hard things. Yeah. So this area, the street, it will be like busier at night. There's a lot of trucks. Yeah. It's crazy busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi! 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 <laughs> <laughs> In a way, Manila actually reminds me a little bit of Bangkok. Yeah. I spent about a month in Bangkok and uh, I see some similarities, yeah. yeah. But this one, because like some of the foreigners, like they don't know where to go. You know? Of course, yeah. And then my tour is all about like locals. Yeah. We survived. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. This is the one thing that I was shocked about that there's Christmas stuff everywhere and it's like the end of October. They like celebrate October. Christmas so Everyone's early. Like, I love Christmas in Philippines. Really? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> We're in the middle of the we'll get here. Yep. And then there's a car. Yeah. <laughs> so Venus, we're gonna ride a tricycle, you said? Nice. <laughs> Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't think I've actually ever been in one of these before. I've been in a tuk tuk before, but I've never been in a tricycle. Like this, right? Yeah, yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah, this one's more like three wheels. Yeah. And the jeepneys, these go like all the over the city. Later. Yeah, yeah awesome. Going the Amazing. Going to the city hall. <laughs> Love it. We're going, uh, ending the tour in the city hall. Fabulous. So we're going to ride uh, you know, uh, this one and then the jeepney. Cool. Beyond the Manila. Beyond uh -huh. the. I heard that this is like one of the best places to go if you want to do like a food tour, right? Yeah, There's lots of great like, restaurants like, here. They're cheap, they're not too expensive, but the line is so long. Yeah, do <laughs> we? Like it's nice and good food and cheap, but yeah. the line is so long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty. 
<laughs> Mahjong. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. Do we need a mask? <laughs> so you just do you just tell them where you want to get off or you see the signs in there? So like, oh. yeah, there's like a sign. So each Gipney only stops at those kinds yeah, yeah, of destinations. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Destinations. Cool. And like even here in the side of uh -huh. the this is like. I like it. <laughs> I don't like to stop before 11, 10, 11, and 12 because the, you know, the gas is very high. So. Yeah. Cool. But still, it's cheap. Yeah, for sure. And the train is like 20 pounds. So it's like half then. Yeah. Half to go on the GP. Depends uh, where you're going. How yeah. Far. But yeah. it's like no. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And nighttime is beautiful as well. They actually maintain it like clean. And uh -huh. then pandemic, they renovate the underground, uh, you know, uh, walkway. Uh huh. So like everything is different. Before a lot of homeless there, like staying, but now it's very different. Now it's nice. You will see it. Later. The walls, the students actually paint the walls in here. Uh huh. Like this well, actually. Cool. Oh, they did such a good job. This is yeah, awesome. Nice. And then you can see the main transportation of Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, Manila in Tagalog. Manila in Tagalog is Manila. Yeah. Manila. Manila. Yeah. And then the train. And then the palace. Uh huh. The horse. Yeah. Because this one is like the Nazarene, um, uh, like the black Nazarene. Uh huh. This and then they have like, you know, this one is the dirty ice cream. Right? Nice, right? yes. <laughs> and then like because of the pandemic, they draw this. Wow. Crazy. That's awesome. Cool. Awesome really cool. mural. Yeah. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of our real yeah. Manila tour. Venus, thank know. you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> this is lovely. So if you guys want to have a more authentic look at the city, I'm actually going to link Venus's yeah. details down below. Mm -hmm. They can reach out to you on Instagram yeah. or Airbnb, Airbnb experiences. experiences. Yeah. Perfect. So everything will be linked. Absolutely. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. Bye.